Hey guys, welcome back for those that are coming back and for those that are new here, my name is Laura and welcome. So I'm going to be doing another thrifted book haul. I thrifted books three different days last week and I'm going to show you what I got. I got some really good finds here and I was really, really shocked to find some of the ones that I did find for the price that I found them for. So let's jump right into what I got last week. And I went to a different spot last week and that was actually the first place I stopped. So that was called, I wanna say Ministry Thrift. And I know it's just in my area, like it's specific to my location. And they have three for three, or you can buy one for $1.25, but obviously three for three, you can't beat it. So I'm gonna show you the three books I got there. Normally I don't go there because I have a hard time finding, you know, good picks, but I found really good ones this time. So the first one I found, I found it and I was like, I even said it out loud and there was other people around me. I was like, no way. And that is Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins. And I was so excited to find this because I've heard absolutely amazing things about this one. If you're on Book Talk or you're here on BookTube, you already know that, you know, this has amazing reviews. So I was super excited to find this and it is in great condition. It doesn't even look like it's been open, honestly, except for it does have this when you open it, but it's a dollar, who cares? Um, so again, paid a dollar for that one. The next one is also a really good find, but it is the third book in the series. So I'm gonna have to look out for the first and second book, but I am dying to get into this series and that is As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. If you don't know, this is the third book in a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. And this one isn't in the best condition. I don't know if you saw the top here, it's a little ragged up at the top here, but for a dollar, I couldn't beat it and I couldn't pass it up. It's a series I haven't read that I've been dying to read. So again, for a dollar, couldn't pass it up. And then last but not least, I am not, okay, tell me if you're the same, but I am not someone who purchases book of the month books. And it's because I don't like their logo, like on the outside book, you know how they have like the logos at the top corners here. I just don't like the look of it. And I don't know why I can't like put a finger on exactly why I don't like it, but I just don't like it. But I got a book of the month book, but okay. Let me tell you what it is first. It's kiss her once for me and it looks absolutely adorable. I haven't heard anything about this book, so I'm super intrigued. I'm super excited to get into this one. So like I said, it is a book of the month book and I said I didn't like the little logo on the spine here, but guess what? There's no logo on the spine. And again, this is in great shape. So those were the three books I got at that thrift store for $3. The next stack here I stopped at our local library because they always have a little book sale section and in their book sale section all books are 25 cents so again can't beat it and I got quite a few. So the first one I got here is The Plot and I haven't heard anything about this but I've been seeing it around a little bit more so I'm curious to get into this one as well again haven't heard very much about it but super curious to jump right into it. The next one I have is a author that I've never read before and I am excited to jump into their stuff as well. And that is Survive the Night by Riley Sager. Again, have never read any of his books, but I'm excited to get into one. Again, 25 cents. And these ones, they're all in great shape. The only thing that you could tell it's X library is the stamp here. Like I took all of the stickers and things off. If you're ever worried about buying an ex library book, generally the plastic that they put on the hard covers is really easy to get off. There's just usually tape on the inside. And then the stickers they usually put in the corners and then ours also had one on the back here. They're generally really, really easy to remove. So if that's stopping you from buying ex library books, don't let it stop you. And they look great. So here's that one. This one, there's a lot of hype around. And that is one of the reasons I'm really excited to get into it. It's a very emotional read, apparently. Again, I don't know what it's about. I don't read synopsis of books before I jump into them, but 
I got my dark Vanessa. And again, this one's in great shape. The pages are a little yellow, but it is what it is for 25 cents. Again, can't beat it. There's that one. And then the last one that I got from the library was Ask Again Yes. And I know this is like an older hyped up book, but I, again, I've never heard anyone say anything about this, like review it or anything. And again, it's because it's a little bit older and I don't know. I'm, I grabbed it because I've heard of it before. And this is one that I haven't seen at any thrift stores until recently. So I was excited to pick it up at the library for 25 cents. That was one day's worth of thrifting. And then the next day I ended up going to another thrift store, which I don't normally go to. So my dad was watching Grace while I went to my OB appointment for baby number two, who should be here within the next month. But anyway, he was watching Grace. So I ran over to the thrift store real quick and I found the X-Hex. Now you would not even be able to tell somebody has read this book. And this was $3.99. They did also have the Kiss Curse there, but with the Kiss Curse, the spine, you can see how the spine's, this spine is in perfect condition. With the Kiss Curse, you couldn't even read the title or the author because the spine was just so cracked. And I was shocked because, I don't know, I guess going to a thrift store, you would think that if this came in, then the Kiss Curse probably came in with the person that dropped this one off. So I don't know, I was expecting it to be in better shape, but this looks unread. So I'm excited to jump into this. I'm probably going to jump into this in the fall because obviously it gives witchy fall vibes. So this one's gonna wait for a little bit, but paid $3.99 for that one. And this thrift shop, there's buy four, get the fifth free. So I did end up getting five, but I don't know where the fifth one went. <laughs> so that was that one. And then I found Red Rising. This one was also $3.99 at the same thrift shop. This one's a little more beat up, but it's not bad at all. You can just see like the little white ridges, but can't really complain about that one. So Red Rising, I also got there. And this is one of the thrift stores that I don't normally go to because their pricing is just a tad bit higher than other thrift stores in our area. And I know people are always like, your area has such good prices thrifting wise. And they do, but you have to look around at the different thrift stores for their pricing because our local Goodwill is more expensive than like Goodwills that I will drive like 20 minutes to. So the pricing really all depends. You kind of have to look out, but there are some books that I'm willing to pay a little bit of a higher price for. So I figured I would mention that as well. And then the next one I got is All the Bright Places. This one I also paid $3.99 for. It's in amazing shape. And I paid a little bit extra for this one because this has been on my radar for quite some time. And I honestly haven't been able to find it where it's in decent condition. Every time I see this book at a thrift store locally, I don't know, it's not in good shape. You know, the cover's all messed up. The cover is completely stained. It's all ragged looking. So I went ahead and picked this up because it's been on my list for a while now. So grab this one. And last but not least, because I don't know where the, the fifth book I got is. I have no idea where it went. But last but not least, it's Leave the World Behind. And I, again, have never heard anything about this. I did actually look this up on Goodreads though, and the reviews aren't great, but there are times when the Goodreads reviews aren't great and I still end up loving it. And I just love the cover too. So I figured I'd give it a go. So that was what I got from there. Again, I can't find the fifth book. I don't know where it could have escaped. Ah, oh, found it, I found it. Okay, fifth book. And this is another book of the month book, but again, it doesn't, Oh, first I'll tell you what it is. I get too ahead of myself. It is The Writing Retreat. And again, this is another book that has been on my radar for quite some time. I have been looking at this in like different buy, sell, trade pages on Facebook because I really wanted to read this one. And I do see it come up quite often, but I'm always a little too late to the post to go ahead and grab it. So I'm excited to jump into this one. This one again, doesn't have great reviews, but I do want to give it a go. But again, this is a book of the month book, but it doesn't have the little logo on the spine here. So when I saw this, I was super excited. And then I, I pulled it out and I was like, it says book of the month, but it doesn't have it on the spine. So I grabbed this one too 
for $3.99. And again, these were buy four, get the fifth free. So one of these I ended up getting for free. So we can just say, you know, this one was a little freebie. And that is what I got from the thrift shop that day. Again, I don't go there very often. So I picked up those ones. And then Friday, I ended up going my normal route down to Good Stuff Thrift. And if you don't know or you're new here, I have one road that has three different thrift shops on it. And I stop at the furthest one from my house first, which is Good Stuff Thrift. And then I make my way back. So the first one I went to was Good Stuff Thrift. And I found three books that had been on my radar. And again, this is another one that doesn't have really good reviews, but I wanted to give it a go for myself. And that is in five years. I wanted to give it a shot for myself. So I grabbed this one. This one was $2.50. And if you don't know or you're new here, my Good Stuff Thrift all hardcovers are $2.50. All paperbacks are $1.50. And then if you go to the YA section, all hardcovers are $2 and all paperbacks are a dollar. So it's a steal there too. But anyway, in five years for $2.50, literally can't tell anybody has ever read it. And then I got two books from the YA section. And this one I've been having my eye on for the longest time. This one is the first in a series and I need to get the other two. And it's to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. And I am thrilled to jump into this. I have had so many of my friends recommend this series to me. And I got this one for $2 because it is hardcover and it is in absolutely phenomenal shape. So $2 for this one. And then last but not least from Good Stuff Thrift is The Toll. And this is from the Ark of the Scythe series. And I have Scythe right here. So this is the third book. I am still needing the second, but I figured I might as well grab it, especially if it's only a dollar. Now, this one isn't in the best of shape. I don't know if you can see, there's like little staining on it and, and like the spine is like not cracked or anything, but there are little like dings and dents and things. But for a dollar, I could not pass it up. Last but not least, my last stop of the day was, well, the last place I bought things from, I can't say last stop. So I ended up stopping at Goodwill, which is the second store on my way back to my house. And that ended up being the final stop that I bought things from because our restore didn't have anything that I was looking for. So this was my final stop that I purchased things from. And again, it was Goodwill. Our Goodwill is pricier than most of our other thrift stores around here. So you will see that when I show you what I got, but I was so pumped for what I got. I was so shocked. Okay. So the first book I picked up is the Thursday Murder Club, and this was $3.99 as you can see. But ever since I picked this up, I have been seeing negative reviews. So I'm curious, I'm really, really curious, but I've also seen some positive. So if you have read this book, let me know what you think in the comments. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let me know what you thought. So that was the first one. Again, $3.99, it's in great shape. Can't complain. Okay, and the last two, again, these two are book of the month books. You know, I don't like the logo on the spine. So these are two more that there was no logo on the spine and I was completely shocked. So the first one being, the Only Survivors by Megan Miranda. I was in complete shock to see this at our local Goodwill. Our local Goodwill doesn't usually have newer books. So to find this was absolutely amazing to me. I was so excited. As soon as I saw this, I like ripped it off the shelf. I was like, this is coming home with me. This was $3.99 and it's in great shape. Again, this is one of the newer book of the month books. So, I was super excited to find this. And then we have the last book. And again, this is a book of the month book and it is The Half Moon. And again, this is a newer one. So I was, again, super excited to find it. And it is in okay shape. It's in okay. It's not perfect, but you can see that there's little rags on the end there. I don't know, it's a little scuffed up, but it does the job. It's, it was $3.99, so I can't complain, especially since they are newer releases. So can't complain about that. But so that is what I got in my thrifted book haul last week. And that is what I ended up paying, which guys, I don't even know how many books here. Let me, let me count how many books I have here. Okay. 
I have 18 books here, so you cannot beat it. It's crazy. It always blows my mind to see how much I've paid for how many books I get. So if you aren't thrifting books, you may be missing out. Make sure to check out your local thrift stores because you never know what you're going to find. And sometimes there are really good finds. Sometimes I leave empty handed and that's okay too, but you don't want to miss some really good finds. So make sure to check out your local thrift store. And again, guys, if you've read any of these, leave it in the comments down below. I want to know what you thought about them. Thank you guys for sticking around with me and I will see you guys soon.